I wanted to take a moment to show you the new Face 3D Tracker with Cartoon Animator 4, which allows you to actually take an animation. Now, I created this picture of a dog. I separated the head and put it on top again so that I could make the head actually talk. And I've gone through the process of setting up the facial features and everything on the head. And now I want to use this new face tracker to do the animation for me so that I don't have to do it. So I'm going to show you real quick how it works. You open the face tracker. Okay, now you can see that it is uh, tracking my lips and my nose and my eyes. And... Now I'm going to turn on the 2D animation in the program, and I'm going to select the head because that's what I want to animate. I'm going to click the face 3D, and I'm going to say record. And when I say record, it will start putting my voice. It will actually animate my puppet for me without me having to do it one step at a time. So we're going to click record. We're going to press the space key, and as you can see, it is recording my movements. I can move up and down, eyes, mouth, nose, and that is how you use the new feature. Now we're going to close it, and I'm going to show you how it worked. Go back to the beginning, and as you can see, it is recording my movements. I can move up and down. Eyes, mouth, nose. Now, I think that is just a lifesaver. I have to admit, when I first bought the program, it did not work on my old machine. I had to buy a new high-speed computer that had enough power to work the graphics. But that's okay, because now I can animate my puppets and not have to do it one little frame at a time. I hope you have enjoyed this. Let me know if you like it. If you like it, I'll make more. Have a great day, Diana.